Hello. Okay, here's the text that you can read. Um, use these commands. That will help you. And then you see here, these are sample. So duplicating that is putting the text on top like that. And then duplicating, control C, control V. Pictures you don't have to worry about, just draw an arrow or a star on a photo. And then you'll see when you duplicate the slide, you can then delete the background, which is why this is white. So here's another one, big text, big sample. And then if you delete the background again, duplicate and delete, you will see that this looks like a decent um, sample that. There's another one and so forth. So I like things on a white background, but if it is a black background, do you just draw a black box and put it in the background? So these are some things you can copy and paste and put it over the um, other ones. So all the sample slides are up to 22. But here I've done a sample with the text and the sample text here in the correct color. So you just highlight it and then change it to whatever color to match it. So let's match it with this blip. We've got a picture there, so I put circle, star, or triangle, and then text here. So when we duplicate it, we basically have this plain one, which is meant to be a representation of this old one. Okay, and see how different it is? So this is another one, and if we put the text on, line it all up, Use the arrow key, left and right. Line up the text as much as you can. Same sort of colors. This one, I've left it as red. But then, if we go to the next slide, you see here, that's what it looks like on thing. This is a box, which I can then delete. And this one, I've got a grey background so that the white text or the colours will work quite well. So you see, this is a representation of that. Okay, and there's the final one. There's another one with boxes. And I haven't finished that, that's for you to finish. So you can start from slide 30 onwards. And then I have already put text here for you to move around, put it on top, and then you can change things, colors, what you need, make that blue, and then text, put this one wherever you need it, so that one goes there, this one is There and that one. So the idea is to get, line it up as much as possible. Um, line it up there and text. It's basically best to do the similar sort of color because otherwise. Might work unless you understand about complementary colors and coloring for the slides. Line up on the top, far left hand side. It doesn't have to be precise, but as much as you can. There's no shape there.
Actually, I just copied and pasted it and then I just resize it as we go. Uh, basically, also, I could just duplicate this and do that. There's multiple ways of doing it. much as you can, text there, and then you just duplicate, uh, delete the background, good, some, you can't see the text, you have to format the slide, and put a gradient fill on it, so you can get to see what it looks like, there you go. The our presentation on that. Okay, I hope you understand. And that's all you have to do. Go through all of these slides as much as you can. I've already put text, you just need to put it into alignment and put create the shapes as required and put the same text. Once you've done the same set of text, you'll see that that can be probably copied to another slide later on, boxes, shapes, and so forth. And there's about 29, but basically remember the first 30 are the samples. So here we would be trying to duplicate this. I said if there's a photo, just insert a star or a shape. And line up bottom far left hand side. There you go. Okay, so you try and finish the bar. 